Mark Tewart and thanks for tuning in to our video series, Why Dealerships Struggle. In video number 24, we're going to talk about bad internet sales process. Obviously, we're getting more leads from different places today than ever before, and we're getting more and more of our business from the internet, but what do you actually have quantified to be able to qualify? Do you have written down what you're going to do once a lead comes in from email or once it comes in from the phone? If it comes in from the email, do you have an autoresponder email sent out that's going to automatically acknowledge somebody? Well, that's great, but if you do, if you really looked at how you have done the copywriting, in, in any type of environment, I invite you to study copywriting, the art of writing a letter. Yes, that applies to emails, a marketing letter, a sales letter. What would your subject be? If you have the right subject line on an email, you get a better response. If you have something generic, you won't get any. And beyond that, do you have calls to action? Do you have bullet points that, that outline why you're different or unique or that would get somebody to want to talk to you? Remember, this autoresponder should acknowledge somebody, but it should get somebody to want to pick up the phone or to take your phone call if you're calling them. Now, autoresponders are okay, but let's face it. You've got to have another series in there. You've got to have another email that would add to that in your emails. Are you offering free special reports? Are you driving people to your own YouTube channel to get a walk-around presentation of the vehicle they called on? Are they getting free special reports on things like 10 things you have to know before you buy a vehicle? And also maybe uh, 10 or 15 things about your dealership or why people buy from you. And are you also giving them more and more and more things? Are you using video emails such as uh, through iJot.com where they can see you when you call and you can acknowledge them? So do you have an autoresponder? Do you have another email? Do you have video email? And obviously over and beyond that, are you making the phone call? And if your dealership allows it, do you have a system that can figure out if it's a mobile phone so you can text and get the authorization to text back to that customer? to make sure that you're trying to reach them in a way that they want to be reached. You can't just send generic autoresponders, generic emails, or call and leave one message. What is your system for a whole week if you don't reach somebody? How many different ways are you going to try to get with them? How much more value, how much SDP, specific defining proposition, are you going to give them that would make them want to do with you and nobody else? If it's two weeks, if it's a month, after 30 days, is this all written, quantified, down on paper, and then executed, and then inspected? If not, here's what I'm ready to tell you. You do not have an internet sales process. I invite you to go back, look at this in more detail than you ever had before. Once again, I'm Mark Tewart. Make sure you tune in to the rest of this video series on why dealerships struggle. And uh, as always, you can go to my website at tewart.com, get my free email newsletter for you. You can call me at 888-2-TOURT, and uh, as well, here's to you in good selling.